This is SEO for WooCommerce in 1993. Oh, sorry, 2023. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm lost. No, I'm tired. <laughs> my name is uh, Stevitsa Goloshin, uh, and I work in Houston, Texas. I'm a software engineer, and everything in between is about me a little bit. You can find me on wordpress.org or send me an email or find me on my LinkedIn account. Well, this presentation will be on my LinkedIn account too within a few days. Starting with basics. What is SEO? And when we talk about SEO, we are talking about natural, organic, and earned results. So people like to say SEO is unpredictable, volatile. Somebody on the other side of the bridge can cut your ropes. Might be Google before it was Matt Katz. And, and uh, you, do, you, you don't know what to expect with, with SEO. What you can expect with SEO. You have a website, and uh, this is the part of internet. Everything is connected. All websites are uh, lights in the darkness. And your website is somewhere here uh, in the darkness, needs links to, to give light and SEO will, will give you that if you, if you have back, good backlinks. If Google bots find you, you will, you will start your website with a light. Uh, this is illustration. When we start a website, we have that uh, first picture, nothing happened. We, 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 are, we are somewhere in limbo. And after two weeks or four weeks, when you do your SEO, you, will, you, can, you can see some results that is something is moving. You are, you are not beyond 30th page of Google. You might be on, on the 10th page or let's say 23rd page. <laughs> it's funny, but it, but it starts. SEO is, is, is important. So. Don't be dinosaur. Do that. OK, we will talk about SEO activities. Uh, in the beginning, it was on-page SEO, off-page SEO. Later, they added local SEO. Uh, I will use on-page SEO uh, and, and divide, divide into two activities, technical SEO and content. You can find different uh, definitions of, of SEO and say SEO has seven parts, eight parts, 11 parts, and they depend, depend on people who, who write uh, articles or who, who is talking about SEO. Okay, technical SEO activity has factors. Factors are hosting, uh, a responsiveness, website speed, and website structure. See that number two and number three, I change names. You will see why I change names later. Let's go with the hosting. If you are, we are talking about WooCommerce websites, and if you are, if you are starting with your um, WooCommerce uh, website, uh, you can use shared costing. Don't pay too much, but don't, don't, don't be uh, kind of people that, that don't, don't want to spend a lot of money. Uh, what you have to check, you have to check if it is easy to upgrade your, your hosting and search for reviews because uh, because uh, maybe something is written on a website and and, and uh, uh, it's it's not exactly what what they what they offer. So uh, 
look what if, if this hosting is easy to upgrade. If you have bigger website or if you have your uh, shop that, that is a brick and mortar shop and you want to move your business to internet, it is good to have VPS uh, and uh, not, not a shared server and reliable hosting uh, that is 99.99% that is up which is very good for, uh, for shops. Mm. Well, good hosting speed if, if you can find uh, WordPress optimized, uh, uh, WooCommerce optimized, and also check hosting history and, and, and reviews. We have a lot of hosting people there as sponsors. You can, you can check them. Okay, what is important also is SSL certificate. Uh, why, why we have uh, this? Because uh, uh, SSL is SEO ranking factor since 2014. And uh, it is very important for, for WooCommerce websites because we have different types of SSL. If you are uh, using uh, SSL for ordinary website, you can take domain validated uh, SSL and say, okay, that is good. I, I, I don't need something better. But if you are doing, uh, uh, you, if you are doing WooCommerce, you have to buy something like organization validation, OV, SSL certificate. Why it is important that that certificate guarantee that, that you have your company. Your company is not uh, somebody, I, f I found that, uh, be, well, it, it was a long time before, it was, I think, 2010, uh, when Guy registered company on Crossroads. It was, uh, I, I, I have, have company and put in a Google, say, this is my company on a Crossroads. So, this is this certificate validate that 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 your your um, company is valid. Also, if you are if you're having some more expensive products, or if you want to to assure your clients that you are a good company, you can you can use EV uh, extended validation certificate. Difference between OV or EV is about, uh, I think, $100, $150, $250 average. And the first one you can get free or you can get for $35 to $50. Okay. In the beginning, it was responsive website. And we have to build the website, we have to build our websites to to be, uh, to have a good view on a, a desktop a computers, laptop computers, tablets, and then mobiles. Now we have a mobile first factor. Why? Because traffic for, from smartphones are more than 50% total. So Google said, now, from now on, we will watch only mobile phones and, and our uh, bots will, will check your websites, how it looks on, on, on mobile phones. So go to mobile first. How it looks. It's different from desktop, it's vertical, and, and you cannot incorporate all things uh, like, like you did on, on ordinary desktop stuff. And so, so you have to think a little, little different. <coughs> Difference between mobile view, desktop view. This is, this is desktop sec section. Uh, um, when, when user starts first, it's over the fold. And, and they, they can see that hero section 
Uh, on mobile view, you can see also hero section first. And uh, usually on desktop views, we have sliders. Uh, anybody is using sliders? <laughs> yeah? No? No more? OK. Uh, and and on, on mobile uh, view, we are not using sliders. We are using only single, single pictures. Well, I don't, I don't like this, this kind of uh, view, because if, we are, if I have a slider on a desktop, I, I would like to have a slider on a mobile uh, view. Also, difference is uh, uh, between, um, uh, between menus, because menu is, is on a mobile phone different uh, from, from the desktop. Also, some, some different stuffs, how mobile views are different. You cannot hover like you can hover with mouse on a desktop. And, but so you can, you must have something like buttons and then and it's, it's looking much, much better on a mobile phone. You can have uh, pop-up windows also on a mobile phone. I like that examples because we can see clearly how to make categories, how to design a view for categories, for a group of products, how you can design uh, a page for a, for a product. Okay. You can test your website uh, with Chrome, Chrome browser, browser, sorry, which is um, the most common browser you can have on iPhones, uh, you can have on uh, Android phones, on PCs, and on Macs. Uh, so, so use first Chrome, Chrome browser, and later. You can check this mobile with mobile phones. I like to, to check with both phones, with Android and with iPhone, because I found a lot of times I have issues with iPhone or I have issue with, with the Android phone. Also, you can go to Search Console, use that URL, and, and check with Google how Google see that see your page. Google will tell you, is it good, not good, what you have to, what you have to change. OK, website speed factor. Uh, people like to, <laughs> to afraid users of websites. They say if, if uh, uh, your page is loading more than three seconds, you will lose your customer. So you are trying to do something with your website and how much you will invest in your speed. Will you try to do something like that? How, how do you invest more in your speed? Or you will ask another question. How many users you can afford to lose? Well, you will lose users. You will lose, lose customers, but you can, you, can, you can go with that question. I can afford to lose 10%, 20% customers, and I, I will not mm, try to speed up my, my website. Well, you will speed up your website, but in the beginning, it was GT metrics with speed analysis, and we have marks from A, B, C, D, E, F. I think they, they, they went to F. And Google has different ideas. Google, Google do that, and this is real re result. I found it, zero. That was, that was very funny. And uh, Google has ideas how to to how to measure the speed of the website. But later, Google change it and say, OK, let's, 
let's do something called Web Vitals. Because we have to show some things on the, on the website, some speeds on the websites that, that uh, ordinary user can, can, can uh, understand. And Google made a special group from these Web Vitals, Core Web Vitals, and these Core Web Vitals are introduced in 2020 and are uh, now ranking factors since summer 2021. Those are three factors, and we will we will see what what is one, what is it, what each factor means. First factor is first input delay. Well, they say when user first interacts with a page and to the time when the browser is actually able to respond to that interaction. What that means? If your website is slow, that first input delay is more than 300 milliseconds, blame hosting. Marco, <laughs> do you agree? <laughs> no. No, you don't blame hosting. First, try to find your errors. There's something hidden here that this. When they click on a link, okay, tap the button or use a custom JavaScript powered control. JavaScript can, uh, can slow down your website, and your first input delay m might be one second. Let's say it might be five seconds because of some custom JavaScript. So don't blame hostings. And uh, also you have, you have uh, the, how, how Google measured that, that, that uh, mm, Core Web Vitals um, uh, thing. Okay. Second factor is largest contentful paint. Okay, what we have here. This is image or text block on your page, but not the whole page. It's within the viewport. This is, a be, this is up the fold. It, it's, 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 it's not below the fold, that part. And what is not good, uh, relative when the page is starting loading, relative to when the page first started loading. So what we have? First input delay plus largest contentful paint. And that is largest contentful paint. If you have slow hosting, then you will fail this, this section. Uh, uh, it is tricky to say what is largest contentful paint, but you can go to Google Chrome, and, and I think there's a fifth option there on, on, on when, when, you, when you click on inspect, and it, it's like a speed, so, so something like a speed. I cannot remember right now what it is. And if, you, if, you, if your largest contentful paint is loaded uh, after four, se four seconds, that is poor. That is, not, that is not good. If it is under 2.5 seconds, that is good. Trick might be that your uh, largest contentful paint will uh, um, will be loaded last. Everything is loaded, and then largest contentful paint, and you will you will you will fail this part of test. If you put largest contentful paint on the front, you can you can. Uh, be successful. This is this is very very good trick. 
and we have cumulative layout shift. It's from Google Picture. When you when you load on your on your uh, mobile phone something and and try to scroll and then you have this click uh, button and you you try to scroll and click on your button and, and go to to the other page. This is not good. Also, it's not good when you when you change. Um, Mm, when, when, when you change uh, 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 font names and, 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 and font is going up and down, pictures also. Uh, well, uh, uh, it is relatively easy to do that, but you have to do with, with the whole page. You have to check how whole page is, is doing. Also, when you put images you have to you have to check if these images are the the size right size if they are not the right size they, they can they can change the size and then 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 shift the your 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 text up or down so also tricky thing well if you if you want to accelerate your web pages, you can use AMP. Google has that framework, build that framework. You can, you can do, if you are a good developer, you can use that. Or you can use WordPress plugin. This is official WordPress plugin. It works with, uh, in a standard mode, so only AMP. Is served. Transitional mode, we have two page versions. If we are on a desktop, it's non AMP version. If we are on, on a, a mobile phone, it is AMP version. Also, uh, there's a reader mode, that's the thing for developers. Mm, uh, you, can, you can have two teams. AMP and non-AMP teams. We had that in the beginning uh, of, of mobile phones, uh, di two different teams. Why, why do you want to use AMPs? Because pages are faster and latency is about 10 times less. And of course, Google say it's better page experience uh, and higher user engagement also. But what is not good if you use EMP? Uh, uh, your components must, must, you have to use compatible components for your uh, web pages. And also you have to use compatible plugins and themes. If you use standard <coughs> WordPress Teams, they are AMP compatibles. I think the last one, 22, 23, is, is compatible. <coughs> so additional work is involved. So if you have a good developer, it will be, it will be good to, to try to use that framework. And Bill Gates said, said, if you cannot achieve all these requirements from Google, at least make it look good. So don't forget user experience factor. I'm, I, like, I like that picture because, because it, it shows how to, how to use things on WooCommerce, how, how to, how to make categories, how, how to do that on, on mobile phones. Website structure. Uh, when you're making website structure, you have rules. So rules are keep it simple and accessible within three, three to four clicks. Remember that, I, I will explain what are those three to for clicks. And you can uh, use ceiling, 
siloing, sorry, routine, and do not index all your pages, which is very important. Simple page structure, products, categories, subcategories, products, but your website don't look like this often. It might look like this. And it's it's very good structure, but if you add blog and then other things that, that explain that explain uh, your products, what are you doing with products, you have to do that. That 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 you have that you have different website structure and you have to restructure that. Let's talk a little bit about URLs. You know that don't use that URLs. That is not human readable. You can use something like weight loss, bikini fit, and cheap hotels in Houston. <laughs> of course, something, some, some dynamic URLs. Where you can do that, you can do on the settings and put post name. It's easy. Also, when you're doing with WooCommerce, you can can do in your products extended uh, uh, extended part of, of these settings is you can use only product slug or you can add category slug if you like. You can use something like a custom. Every every product will have the custom custom URL which is okay. If you have 20 products, that is good. If you have 100 products, oh, you, you will make a mistake. So you, you have, you have option, a lot of options in, in WooCommerce to do that. Why do you want to shorten this URL and why, why do you want to, to make uh, this uh, URL uh, mm, the, uh, good for, for users? Theoretically, you can put 2,000, uh, recommended is 80 to 100 characters, but Google shows only 78 to 74 characters. You will see later something much more difficult. Do you want to use URL shorteners for your products? Any idea? Do you use that? <laughs> URL shorteners are not good from SEO aspect because this is JavaScript. I have my, my product. My product is t-shirts. T-shirt so shop slash white t-shirt. Okay, and, and this URL is showing me something else. If I want to link, have a link from, from somebody else, it will show me that link or it will show that, 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 that URL shortener, which is not good. Landing pages. Do you know you have software for building landing pages? I, I had that, that issue in my, well, I, I'm calling that issue. <laughs> in my previous company, they, they, they used software that, that is like a website builder and, and they, 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 made, they made horrific uh, uh, landing pages. Also, these landing pages don't have URL from, from your from your website. And when you want to link to them, where's just to, to the website? So you don't, you, don't, you don't have it. So I don't like that. And I don't recommend that because of SEO aspects. How to organize your products? Of course, use categories. If you have brands, sort in sort them with brands. Then if you have your products that are not on your stock anymore, try to do something with that page. You can put permanent redirection or if it is temporary, let's say COVID start again and, and, and then we, 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 have, uh, we will break this uh, supply chain 
and we cannot obtain the products from, let's say, China. And we will put temporary. OK, it will, it will come maybe later. So uh, when, you, when you want to, to organize your products and say, say I have, uh, I'm selling t-shirts, and I have t-shirts, different colors, uh, yellow, green, blue, uh, orange, whatever. And you have, to, you have to describe these products. What, what will you say? This is t-shirt sizes from S to double XL um, color that. And every different page will have this, this description. It will be duplicate content on your website. Google won't like this. So you can use one page and say this is canonical and other no index. Or you don't need to say don't index. You can index, but put that is canonical. This page is canonical, main. And those pages, the other pages, are showing canonical to that page, to that first page. Oh, I like that. Uh, when Google reads your page, Google bot, and, and find tabs, Tabs, first tab is shown. The other tabs are not, are not displayed with Google. So if you write something tab one, two, three, four, your first tab will be shown and all this cont later content will be hidden for Google. So what will you use instead of tabs? Accordions. Oh, silo. First part, how to make groups. This is three jars, put different colors of, of, of these uh, balls uh, in, in a different uh, jars, and then you have groups. But silo can be shown as, as uh, these groups uh, put, put in one jar, so you can you can uh, interconnect everything inside the jar. If you have different jars, you, don't, you cannot do that. You cannot interconnect this ball with this ball. You have to go outside, go inside, and then connect, which is very, very difficult. These connections are much better. How to build silo structure? So it's, uh, it's easy four steps. Determine product structure, choose, plan, and implement. Simple, isn't it? This is a picture. Well, I didn't know that I will go to Alabama. So it's, it's, very, it's very interesting. When, when, when you make silo for hotels, it, it, might be, it might be simple and say, OK, we have similar number of hotels everywhere. And, and then we can, we can put these this hotels. And it, it's, like, it's like the first picture, uh, like uh, mm, uh, groups, subgroups, and siloing is much, much better defined. If you, if you are looking at the books, or if you're going to bookstore. And for example, you are trying to find, trying to find books similar to, let's say, Stephen King uh, Mist book. There's something like a horror. You're starting with that. I read uh, Stephen King's book. I like that genre, so I'm going to horror. And usually, uh, libraries and bookshops has, has, has the best siloing techniques to do that, like references. OK, let's see that blueprint. We have index page, and 
and it's, 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 it's the main page. It's, it's like index.html or PHP. And then we have, it, it's, it's, like, it's like our, our store, like the doors, you are entering the store, going to hallway pages, and you have on, on whole, each hallway different type of, of clothes. Then you have doorways in that halls, and this is about uh, seasons and occasions. You, you, can, you can group like that. Then you, you can have groups pages when you enter this door, and then you have shelves, and you can see, you can see all these products on, on the shelves. And the last is your money page. This is your product page when you have different, different products. What we said with, uh, with, uh, with the links uh, when, when, when somebody arrived to your website, only three to four steps. People usually say, OK, you have five levels. How? <laughs> because your index page, your home page, is not your main page. You have to think what will be your page where, where, where users will come, your, 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 your first page where users will come. They can do to the, they, they can go to these groups or doorways and you are within two or two, three pages in, in the depth. Yeah. It's <laughs> okay. Content factors. I will explain using uh, Yoast plugin because Yoast is, is the most popular. How Yoast is showing if your if your content is good. Yoast has semaphores. If something is good, it's green. If something is well not that good, it's amber or yellow. Uh, or red if you have to work more on that content. OK, first thing what you have to check is your meta description. This is meta description on Google. See, it might, this might not be good meta description. Uh, this website might not have that. that that meta description. And what, what Google recommend? 155 characters. Sam Rush said 1 and 60, on mobile 120 characters. And add something like pixels, with in pixels. And it said, 920 pixels. You have, to, you have to be careful if you use uh, letters M a lot. It will be wider, and and it's it's very it, it might be very very difficult to to determine that that meta description. But uh, Yoast Yoast ha have that semaphore for that. You you will you will see green is good, and and red red is not good when when you have more than 155 characters. Yoast will tell you, don't go over. Uh, what you must have on your page is call to action. Well, in your, sorry, on, on, on that meta description, you must have call to action. Just do something, click on this, or, or, or this is the product you can buy here. Also, you have to include your focus keyword. This is my product, my t-shirt, buy that t-shirt. Uh, and we have to be careful and make unique meta descriptions, no, no, not, not to duplicate. Uh, also, Yoast will, will show you that. What is a good practice? Good practice is uh, to check keyword density. We have this before. Uh, if we have main keyword, how, percent, uh, how much percent is main keyword? It was uh, a long time ago, it was 5%. 
development and also this focus keyword must be on the first paragraph, on subheadings, URL, h1 tag, and, and also in meta tags. But what you have to check also, text length. I, I found on, on, on a WooCommerce website, uh, people don't uh, write, uh, write enough on these on this product pages. And those product pages are landing pages, or groups are la landing pages. So if you want uh, uh, pages to be uh, on, on, on a good position, you must, you must uh, be careful with your text length. <coughs> Writing long sentences. I remember in a school they, they told us if, if, if somebody is a good writer, he's writing long sentences. And, and you have to be careful. When you start reading that sentence and when you go to the end, you forgot what, what uh, writer said at the beginning. So be careful. It, it's, it's not easy to, to write short sentences. I learned that because I'm not a native English speaker and I like to do that because of sequence of tenses. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. So 25% maximum long sentences. And, and don't, don't, don't write too long. Avoid passive voice. Oh, that is, that is very good because passive voice cannot explain you something. This product can be bought in our web shop. Look good. But customer can buy this product in our web shop. It's, I think it's much better. Sound much better. English speaker, is it good? No. You don't like it? OK. <laughs> Transition words, 30% minimum. Transition words are like glue for your sentences. Uh, when somebody is trying to read and you are using these uh, uh, transition words, you can, you can lure your, your customer to read the next sentence. Please read next sentence. This transition words is saying, please read next sentence. And, and uh, it's good to use this is minimum in 30%. Try, try, to, try to make uh, uh, this text uh, uh, easy, easy to read. And, and uh, uh, what is, uh, try, try to not, not to bore your, your uh, user. When we talk about uh, reading, how reading is easy, the United States Army has, has that flash reading is core long time ago. And uh, um, Yoast used that. You can find it on Wikipedia definition, how it's using, but your uh, flash reading is score should be between 60 and, and 80. This is seventh grade, seventh or eighth grade, which is good for a first store. When you finish everything, you have all greens. Is it good? Yeah, Photoshop <laughs> is the master. Who's the king? <laughs> OK, no. Who said content? Content is king. So the most important thing on your website, also on your WooCommerce website, is content. OK, we finished that first part. This is on-page SEO. We talk about technical SEO. We talk about uh, content. And we are on the first step. I like that picture. Still have Google Plus. <laughs> but this is the first level. You have to do all these things 
to, 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 build, to build a successful website. If you want to see this, this is on page SEO, the part that is visible. Everything else is off page SEO, links, other things, uh, what is uh, social media. Okay, I put Bill Gates, so I have to put St Steve Jobs. Okay, Steve Jobs said that, that you, you cannot see when you start something, you cannot see the end and connect the dots. When you return back and say, okay, I, I did SEO and, and these dots will be connected very, very good, very seamlessly. Thank you. That's it. Do you want explanation? Oh, oh. Well, I, I, I had on my first presentation, I had this picture, and they asked me, "Oh, what that means?" You know that that game, Age of Empires, and this is rover. robot rover, Mars rover. Sometimes when you're doing SEO. You think you are sending data to Mars rover. Needs a lot of time to, 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 to get this data to, to the rover. And Martians are playing with you like they're on Mars. And you cannot see. You, you can see when, when rover is, well, half destroyed. <laughs> that is SEO. That is SEO. That, that is dots connected when you know when, when, when you do something the this these dots will be connected like this if you are good professional questions and I will give answers why don't we have time for one question because we're going to be closing the remarks here just <laughs> I'm going to ask a question about the Google page speed uh, yes Google page speed for yes. three, uh, three metrics that you said, you mentioned. Uh, what is the impact of lazy load, lazy loading on those scoring? Have you experimented? Uh, lazy loading, uh, when, when you lazy load uh, your pictures, right. it's uh, below the fold. Everything is below the fold. What if it's, what if, if it's, it's zero? For, for, a, for a, a largest contentful paint, it, it's not uh, it, well. Well, it's not in, uh, has no influence, unless unless you are putting this largest contentful paint somewhere somewhere uh, on the well uh, lazy loading uh, your hero picture. That will be very very bad to do. Uh, for cumulative layout shift, it might have problem. Right. When you are when you are uh, doing that. You have to uh, reserve space for the picture. Say, my picture is 1,000 by 600. That's it. This is reserved space. And, and it will show everything, blank space, and then it will show pictures, and you, you don't have uh, uh, shifts. So overall, would you recommend lazy load or not? I'm sorry? Would you recommend using lazy load at all? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, but, but reserve, reserve that part for the picture. Let's say, picture will be that size. Simple. All right, thank you so much.